I, 20 F, just am done with life. You are not destined to be this way. There are many people who feel similar to you, like I'm never going to get better and at this point have been debating suicide and that most people would be better off without me. I've been dealing with feelings like this on and off since 8th grade. I feel like all of my friends would just get over it in a month or two if I were to do it. My best friend, the one who would care, has her own mental problems and I had to talk her down multiple times from attempting it. One day, I will probably end up losing her, and that thought alone makes me just want to go. My boyfriend is one of the main reasons I haven't. He would be crushed, but I feel so guilty even thinking about suicide because of him. I never want to tell him when I'm struggling, or anyone because I think I don't matter and have a tough time opening up to him. I feel like I'm going to ruin the relationship because of it, but I can't help it. I hate telling people my problems. I barely tell anyone about my past either, of having to hide from my dad while he is screaming and yelling at my mother as a kid so he wouldn't do the same to me as he is before, or how I got bullied my whole elementary school for all the years, and how people still bullied me through middle and high school. How during the first two years of high school I was being groomed by multiple men online, one even getting me to send him CP. The other main one was from my school who was a senior who I met a month before he graduated. After always showering me in love, probably just to try to get me, and he decides yes I'm gonna get a girlfriend and cheat on her because of talking to you still. He talked to me for almost a year. He made me feel like I was everything then nothing at all. Thank God my mom never let me go see him in person, so no it wasn't physical. Part of me still feels like I was never abused in any way by my dad or by older men. I feel like it's not enough to be counted as trauma even though I will be thinking about it every week and get pretty upset each time. I realized I can't really remember the first two years of his. I hate myself because of the things others have said about me while bullying me. I don't believe I'm good in any way, personality-wise or looks. I don't have fun anymore doing anything, I end up stopping whatever I'm playing or doing in a brief time because I don't have the motivation to do it. I basically just play a game or watch something while role-playing with my best friend when I'm not at work just to pass the time. It feels like I'm getting zero joy anymore, I get angry at everyone for the smallest things at this point. On the topic of anxiety, I get anxious all the time over things I can't control, and it just keeps getting worse, because the world is just straight up going to hell as it seems which does end up leading to attacks sometimes. My emotions feel out of control, half of the time I'm either numb or feeling everything at once, when I'm mad or that one time when I am happy. I tend to snap at people a lot because of this, including my boyfriend, and I feel horrible about it, it makes me hate myself even more than I already do. I feel horrible when I'm unmotivated because my room becomes trash to the point where you can't see the floor and old food on my desk or shelf is growing mold. I don't help around the house, still living with parents. I don't want to do anything, I don't want to clean or work or even eat and shower. I don't even cry that much anymore. When it comes to eating, nothing ever sounds good anymore and I can't tell if it's due to my depression or another problem, like my fear of gaining weight. Like I legit don't want to eat because of it and feel guilty when I don't, but I don't want to say I have an eating disorder because it doesn't feel severe enough and I don't lose weight you know. After always feeling this way, one of the things that makes me angry the most is the fact that the biggest reason I won't go through with my thoughts isn't because of my will or anyone in my life. It's the fact that I'm terrified to die, to the point of it causing anxiety attacks, and I feel like that is also one of the main causes of why I'm depressed is knowing the fact I will die, and there is a chance of there just being nothing. It makes life meaningless pain to me. I know my struggles just fade away, sometimes pretty fast like days of depression versus me actually being happy which makes me feel like it's just in my head, I'm not depressed. I don't think I even have a right to say it because I'm not diagnosed with anything. I feel so guilty for feeling about what I do now, and I feel even more guilty about making this post so long, I needed to get this out. Thanks for sharing. There are many people who feel similar to you and me myself as well. I'm unemployed and dropped out of high school. 
struggle to find reasons to leave bed because I'm going to die anyways, and I don't believe much in the afterlife. Without starting a rant about myself, I'd just like to say you're not alone. So many people out there can relate to some of what you're going through, I promise you. What I think you could do is keep venting to people who care about or strangers like here on this sub. Try to just take it one day at a time and don't let the negative thoughts win every day. Life is a constant struggle, not just in the financial realm, but with the mental and finding meaning slash reason to do things every single day. You took one step in the right direction today by posting here and sharing slash letting it all out. You're not destined to be this way forever. Your mindset can and will change. You just have to keep fighting and stay alive. Go outside look at nature and how it keeps going. You're valued and there is no one like you on earth. Sure, similar humans exist, but no one exactly like you. You're alive and there is hope as long as you keep trying okay. Stay safe and thank you for sharing. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe. The Internet Surfer on YouTube for more horror and scary stories.